Right, so unless you've been living under a rock, you will know that Andrew Feather won the UK National Hill Climb Champs and people are saying, wow, the numbers are outrageous. So I thought I'd give some context behind the numbers. So obviously he did 459 watts for almost 12 minutes, which is absolutely bananas as calculated at a weight of 63 kilos, about 7.3 watts per kilo. But I thought we'd go through some different efforts from over some years just to see see the differences. So we're also going to go through some Ed Laverick numbers as well because it's interesting to see the competition. So first of all, we're going to go into some longer efforts. So here's Luz Ardiden, uh, which the big man had done in 2019. Now, this is a 40-minute climb, uh, and he did it in uh, yeah, 383 watts, 6.1 watts per kilo for 40 minutes, which is pretty bananas, um, obviously. However, this year, uh, in he did Mon Mon 2, obviously the whole GCN challenge, uh, which he did 376 watts, I believe it was, for an hour and two minutes, which, again, is pretty crazy, about 6 watts per kilo for an hour. So you can see he's gained 20, 20 minutes at 6 watts per kilo, so his threshold is now 6 watts per kilo, which is pretty mental. Um, you know, actually doing six watts per kilo for an hour is, is very, very impressive, especially as a man who I reckon has a way bigger punch. So you can see his aerobic ability has increased significantly, um, you know, a third extra, which obviously on this duration, you know, is not, um, you know, as crazy as maybe on a five minute effort. But I still think it's pretty bananas um, that the kind of differences we're talking about now. We're going to go through some shorter efforts as well. Uh, actually, no, that is the, the wrong one. We're going to go through... Haytor. Now, Haytor was 2019 Nationals, which was, uh, you can see here, 12 minutes, 27. So Andrew Feather did two efforts. One of them was in Nationals. One of them was um, was not in Nationals. Uh, he just did like a, uh, he just did a kind of recce effort. So you can see again here, um, he, this one, I believe, was when he did this in Nationals. So this was not actually a crazy good performance compared to what we've seen. So again, you can see about 12 minute effort. He averaged 408. 420 norms and you might go okay it's not the same as a struggle but it's not too dissimilar like it's, it's very rampy you know it is obviously nowhere near as steep so people could say that's why Bell was doing less watts but again you can see here he actually did um he did some different numbers um this was actually before uh, I think he had a bad day on hate or he did have a bad day so maybe that exacerbates the difference but even so 430 watts of 12 minutes he's gained 26 watts uh in three years which or four years sorry which is very impressive um and so yeah i mean obviously like that's kind of crazy you may argue potentially that that's due to the climb uh just you know it's not as good for him the way it is and yeah maybe i agree i i think we could we could argue that um if we look at annual inflation and but just straight away could just be power meter error so you know you do have to take that into consideration because now no one on the internet believes any power meters unless i actually don't think anyone believes anything even if it's an srm even if it's a quark people are like whoa 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 so in that sense, maybe this video is, is a wasted on all you lot because you're just going to say the power meter is wrong. But anyway, we're, we're going to keep diving in. We're going to keep going. So we've got we've got some also interesting numbers from Mam Nick as well. Now, uh, we're going to go to the tumble latest because I think that's that's one of the most interesting numbers to look at. So this is Mam Nick. So he did this in 2019. He did 470 watts, so that's 7.4 watts per kilo. Then in 2020, he did 500 watts for 5 minutes 38. So that is a radical improvement, 30 watts already. And if you actually think from 2019, he's almost put his doubled what he can do. Okay, it's not exactly, it's 450, not 470. But still, that's pretty crazy. And I saw an effort uh, before Nationals where he did do 470 for 10 minutes. So you can see he's gained four minutes on a power like that, which is actually crazy. So again, you can see there's been a big step up since 2019. That is for sure. Um, and in 2019, obviously he didn't win National Hill Climb Chance, but he did win it the year before. Um, so yeah, those are kind of interesting, but what I think is really interesting is actually 2019 tumble. Now, Ed Lauer, again, 414 watts. So you can see that was actually not as good, um, as his, um, uh, National Hill Climb Champs. Again, he was kind of like, um, similar average, but bigger normalized just because of the climb. So again, kind of similar, not, not too crazy. Um, but if we look at Feather, he did 433 watts. He actually beat Ed Laverick on this day, uh, I believe. And yeah, he uh, yeah, did 434 so for 12 minutes. So what I can say is that a consistent effort in 2019 was 430 watts for 12 minutes, and now it's 456 watts, which is just bananas. Like, gaining 26 watts at that kind of uh, uh, point is just uh, pretty mental. And again, you can see this, the tumble is really good for putting out power. This looks fast, and it is fast, but that's only because they're doing stupid, stupid numbers. If you actually look at it, it's still 5.5%. It's not... It is harder, but it's more like this bit is actually crazy steep. It's like a 10 and a half, 11%. Um, 
Um, and then obviously when they get to five and a half percent, they just go absolutely crazy speeds. Um, so yeah, again, a climb that suits feather, 430 watts, but these days he's doing 456 watts. So that is a big improvement. And I reckon one of the, the craziest things um, that I've seen is the win it's pass. This was the National Hill Climb Chance in 2021. Now he did 555 for three minutes. And you might say, well, Charlie, it's 12 minute climb. Why is that matter? Sorry, 561, actually, 561. Well, let me paint you a picture. For two minutes, he did 550 watts at the end of a 10 minute effort. So you can see like, even from 2021, and you might go, okay, his tire slipped and all the rest of it, which I agree, potentially it did. When it's, there was a lot of issues, it was cold, it was wet. But nonetheless, the improvement since then is pretty crazy because he's like, okay, it might be a minute less, which I do admit at this duration is quite a lot. Um, but even if we look at kind of just like, yeah, two minutes, nine seconds, 544 watts, five, like that is crazy to do at the end of the race. And like he'd already done up to this point, including the kind of downhill part, he did 440 watts. And you think before he couldn't even do 440 for 12 flat. That's so that's more than what he was doing. And then he's cracked up 550 afterwards. So it really is like a thermonuclear performance. Um, and this is actually pretty similar kind of effort. Like obviously it's shorter, like 15%. Um, this is this is last bit again. What you can see is um, is fifteen percent, two thousand four hundred van, two thousand five hundred van. So again, you can see like the effort's pretty similar. It's just a minute shorter, but you're like a minute shorter. But he's done like nine minutes beforehand. So yeah, pretty bananas all round to be honest. Um, and if we compare Ed's time, so he did four fourteen, uh, on Haytor, uh, and then if we look at uh his other ride here. We he did 430. So it is definitely an improvement of 16 watts. But again, his power meter might be cooked. It's hard to say. I also think he was lighter in 2019, potentially as well. But anyway, there's some context behind the numbers. Um, they're thermonuclear no matter what. Uh, but yeah, you can see the kind of the improvements from 2019 onwards.